Hello and welcome my young friends. The next three to four weeks are possibly going to be the most important weeks in your career whether you are in MCA, BCA, engineering or any other course which is trying to learn computer programming as your first language. Now before I proceed let me try to define or set the expectations for this particular course. At the completion of unit 1 we basically did just the conceptual or theoretical part to understand different aspects of a computer. In this part we are going to deal with the most important aspect of learning a computer programming which is the programming logic. Programming logic is developed through working on a number of algorithms and or flowcharts. If you do a survey of why did you give up learning programming, you can be sure that 100 out of 100 will tell you that they could not get the programming logic. And it is really a big surprise to me why in schools and even in colleges programming logic is not given its importance because it's so easy and so wonderful thing to learn that it makes learning programming after that a breeze. Because of not getting trained in programming logic through algorithms and flowcharts, students lose interest in programming because they are not able to understand how to write programs. Now just in case you are thinking that programming logic is something great, it is not. It is just being able to write a sequence of steps in a proper order so that the compiler or the computer is able to understand what you want to get or what things you want to get executed by the computer. Now as I mentioned, the next three and four weeks are definitely going to change your life. I would request all of you to spare at least 30 minutes per day trying to do the exercises given. Because even if you put 30 to 60 minutes a day, you can be guaranteed to a path of success. Being a multimillionaire is no guarantees, but I can guarantee you, you will be a multimillionaire and also you will get a job in a very top company provided you put efforts in the next 3-4 weeks. And I shall make it very easy for you. Let me tell you one thing. If you understand logic, programming is going to be the greatest and the most fun subject you have ever learnt in your life. If you ask me in the first year of engineering, which are the two subjects I would really enjoy learning? One I would say without hesitation, programming logic. The next I would say, engineering drawing. I'll give you answers for that. Programming logic helps you develop logical thinking skills whereas engineering drawing expands your ability to be creative and imaginative skills. Now a lot of you must be thinking that programming logic is something great. Absolutely not. It does not require any mathematical background or any mathematical knowledge. The one thing you need to learn to develop good programming logic is give up your bad habit of learning things by heart. Please do not try to memorize things because this is the first time you will encounter a subject where you will have to be calm, just think and solve the problem. All right. And I can guarantee you if you follow the path I am doing in the next three to four weeks, each and every one of you will learn programming and you will enjoy this subject more than any subject you have enjoyed or learned so far in your life. So let me describe what will be the outcomes of the course because from now we are taking our first steps into C programming. So the first step into C programming is you need to learn programming logic. In schools they have wasted time teaching you all nonsense C++, Java or XYZ or whatever it is without emphasizing enough on programming logic. So welcome to your first step into the wonderful world of programming. In the next three to four weeks, you will get all the skills 
to master programming logic through algorithms and then through flowcharts. You can use one of those tools to master logic. If you like algorithms to develop programming logic, go ahead with it. Or if you like flowcharts, go ahead with it. So it gives you two full chances to understand programming logic. And this is simply the most, most important aspect of learning programming. So if you want to be a top-notch world-class programmer, it is but required that you develop a sound knowledge in programming logic. At the end of this course, over the next two and a half, three months, you will develop a real mastery or a sound skills in computer programming. The biggest thing is you will be able to write code on your own which will give you a lot of thrill and you'll be able to hold your head high and the joy when you write your own program is undescribable so do not give up learning programming now what do you need to do from your path just simply follow the lecture sequence and the good thing is since there are online lectures there's nothing that you can miss even if you miss that time you can later on sit and run through it my only humble request is religiously attend my lectures, go through them multiple times and most importantly make an effort to solve the given assignments or problems. If you have understood what I have been teaching so far, I will tell you what I was teaching so far was really difficult if you ask me. Now from now on it's going to be really really easy and fun. So nothing to feel anxious, welcome and in the next session onwards we will start discussing what are algorithms over the next two three lectures followed by solving problems using an approach known as the algorithmic approach with that let me say goodbye to all of you for this particular video